Seven's on your side tonight after a Suitland woman's jaw dropped when she looked up while babysitting her eight-month-old granddaughter in their apartment to find a huge snake slithering just a few feet away. The family called the rental office for help, but help was slow in coming. So they called Seven on your side after a second unwanted visitor showed up. Now they want out. Our troubleshooter Horace Holmes stepped in to help. Nah, he's running. Grab him, grab him, grab him. When Sharita McPayton learned that somehow a snake... I'm still stressed out about the whole thing. ...had gotten into her Suitland apartment, she was shocked. Her mother, who was babysitting McPayton's eight-month-old daughter, was terrified when she came face-to-face -face with the five-foot-long, non-poisonous black snake. I couldn't believe it at first. I was like, that's not a snake. Davis grabbed the baby. It was just hanging on the rocking chair, very cool, calm, and collect like it lived here. And she quickly called her daughter, who called Animal Control, which came over, but couldn't find the snake. McPayton then called the rental office at Capitol Crossing Apartments. She says, oh, we can't come out to bring pest control out to your apartment until Tuesday. That was five days later, so she called her boyfriend, and he and three of his friends came over, caught the snake, and disposed of it. The next morning, McPayton went to work. Her mother came over to watch the baby, was in the kitchen, and looked on the counter. The second snake in the kitchen. And it was just as big as the first, but this time, Animal Control told them it was the apartment complex's responsibility to deal with the snake. So they called the office and a maintenance worker came, caught snake number two. Ooh, it's, it's I'm still crawling, I'm sorry. And took it away. But we really don't know how those snakes got in here. Let that snake bite my baby. If I could leave, but I have nowhere else to go, I'd be gone. Seven on your side got involved and contacted Capitol Crossing Apartments to see if they could move McPayton's family someplace else. And the next day... I was given the option to either stay um, there but be moved to a different unit or to go to break my lease. Seven News lit fire, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no more snake drama. I hope that's over. <sighs> And for them, I hope so, too. McPayton says she hasn't seen another snake in the past couple of days. She says she doesn't feel safe in the apartment, though, so she will decide soon where she's going to move. In the meantime, a spokesperson for Capital Crossing told us that they can't figure out how the snakes got into the apartment, but they are working with animal control mm -hmm. to find some answers. Those oh, snakes, goodness. we did a little research, they mm -hmm. do climb.